smells so bad. Jesus Christ. Disgusting, but hey guys and welcome back to my channel for the ones that don't know my name is bella and if you're new or haven't already don't forget to like comment share and subscribe because it helps get this channel out there and yeah i guess that's how it kind of works whether you want to like and comment share and subscribe this channel or not up to you but if you did it'd be great oh god my shoulders are so freaking sore because went to the gym yesterday and did back and shoulders and uh tried some new stuff and let me tell you like some of the workouts just was just yeah. <laughs> it was not playing but okay today's video we're going to be checking to see what the heck like that smell is coming from the car I think on Instagram I already told you guys that it was like a water issue because it's so weird like ever since you know I went to um Drop the car off at retrofit stores it's weird it's just like you know whenever it rains really really bad uh water decides to come i'm guessing like where the glove glove department is and it gets bad like i came into my car one morning and there was just a puddle and if i have a picture i'll like put it right here and i'm hoping it didn't go through the carpet but i feel like it might have because in order for it to get that bad to where it smells like moldy water it had to so Okay, so, oh god, the lighting. <laughs> Let's see how bad this damage really is. By the way, um, I do get questions um, about my mats. Um, I actually got these mats from eBay, and for this side, it does fit. You just gotta, like, obviously tuck it, and I actually tuck it under, like, the plastic. Same thing for the other side, and when you clean these up, like, they actually just, like, give your car a little bit, you know, something extra make it look a little bit less gross I guess but okay <gasps> what the hell oh but look it's like okay I can clean this uh, soak it in like vinegar get it you know it, it should come off not a big deal but So it's like dry my issue now is it's like where is this water coming from because oh, there's my freaking exposing my placement of my LEDs okay so see clearly everything is still dry because the day the morning that it happened um, I checked the I checked all of this and it was still dry so it's not coming from here so it has to be something over there and i will check like under the hood look at that bee i swear one of them's just gonna like freaking take me okay <laughs> they were oh wow i forgot these things have clips now shit okay so they were obviously messing with this side when they were trying to fix i believe my um my leds Okay, so I'm just trying to come up with all kinds of freaking theories as to how the water's getting in. Obviously, like, I don't know how long this has been since, like, the little stripping from this part of from the windshield has been, like, messed up. But, um, I was like, okay, so maybe let's say, like, the water came down the windshield, because obviously. And then I was like, and then somehow, what if it got into that hole right there where the, uh, uh the filter is? Then I was just like, no, because even if the water got through, like, under here, that would fall just straight to the battery. I'm not really sure how it would kind of, like, overflow into that hole. We're supposed to get a freaking, like, storm coming in, like, this weekend. And I'm not excited about that. I do want to show you guys my tail light. So obviously, nothing crazy has been done to them yet. We're supposed to be getting these also retrofitted. That's just going to be like much later, later, just because of time. We changed the turn signals, yield lights, hazard lights, whatever you want to call them. We changed it to GTR lighting because the lighting was like a white, yellow color. Um, but now they turn red and I'll show you guys in a minute. Wow, that's super bright. <laughs> All right, Joel, so I think I might have found my issue with the water leaking on the floor. The grommet is like sticking out, and I'm not sure why that's sticking out. 
and then I'll show you guys a little bit closer. So clearly it's like not even closed up. All right, so she is closed, secured, not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna close all this up and uh, yeah, let's just go back inside. Okay, so it looks like, I guess, that grommet just being loose was the issue. Thank God, because I thought it was going to be like a more bigger issue, but nope, look at that. I do still have to clean that spot, though. We'll have to just get like vinegar later and just clean it, but yay. This is great news because I was literally dreading, I was like, after it rained like so much that I was going to have like a big puddle again. In here and it would have sucked because then it just it would have smelled really bad but <laughs> honestly i thought i had to do something with my weather stripping and somehow like the freaking water got down like the side panel or something i don't know i was just coming up with all kind of freaking theories as to how i would have gotten that big of a puddle in the freaking car but um i guess if you guys are dealing with anything that's something that would definitely check like where your stripping is where your windshield's at the grommet um or definitely under your glove department because i have seen people where they get water literally on their entire floor not just that specific area so i would say definitely check there you guys are always asking me like what's next for the g and it's always the same question it's just because like it's just me trying to come up with financial stability just trying to figure out you know what to do next and how to bring in more income because right now social media is like my full-time thing i am coming up with like the side hustle thing that i'm gonna start getting into and we'll see how like if i enjoy it maybe make it into a business rebuilding a car is gonna take time obviously like some take a little bit longer than others and that's fine they like the next thing would just be like finishing up my interior getting seats and installing those harnesses if you are new to the channel and don't know already um, i am sponsored by street arrow i actually did get you guys a discount code over the weekend and i'll put the discount code right here if you want to check that out I'll also put their website link in the description for you guys to check them out they sell freaking uh track certified like harnesses um they sell like shift knobs like accessories all kinds of things for you guys to go look at um and that code will only be a limited time thing because they are changing things up with how they do their codes and stuff with their direct sponsors and all that so try to get as much stuff as you can if you are looking to purchase anything from them in the near future huge shout out to you know you guys for continuing to show love and support um, we are on our way up to 4100 subscribers on here we actually just hit 4k like not too long ago and we are on our way to 51k on Instagram, so much love. With that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to try to come up with a bunch of new creative videos. And just let me know, drop a comment down in the comment section, like what do you want to see me do? Whether you want to see me do a burnout, or do you want to see me slide the G? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.